Hi everybody, my name is Sylvia Massey and welcome to my new studio. I think I'll call it the Mike Museum because in fact, the studio is in the middle of the world's largest collection of vintage microphones. This is my special creative space. It has a mixed studio, it has a tracking room, it also is a space where I can do painting and artwork and everything that's different than the studio that I've been working at here in Ashland, Oregon, which is Studio Divine. Now, Divine is in a church, and this is actually more of my personal space. And now I have several different uh, analog consoles as well as the Pro Tools system. Uh, so I can do mixing and I have it set up in a particular way because I want to use these analog consoles for uh, hybrid mixing of the digital tracks. So I'm mixing everything out of Pro Tools through the analog consoles depending on what flavor I want that day. I might use the Rupert Neve 5088 or the Loop Trotter or the WEM or any number of the other broadcast consoles and mixers in the room, but then I will mix that and sum it into stereo and then send it back into Pro Tools. Now, my stereo monitoring is very important and I think that anybody who's serious about doing audio, mixing music, really needs to know their monitors. So I use these Genelec monitors. I've been using Genelec since the 90s. And I have a stereo setup now with 8351Bs and the woofer stands, the 371As. The thing about this room, we're going full immersive. And that means uh, two stereo speakers, right? And then two side speakers, two back speakers, two subs, two absolute wide speakers, four speakers up above, two in the front and two in the back, plus the center speaker in the front. So when I think of mixing, I think of the audio field as a canvas. And I think as an artist, how would I put uh, these objects into this picture? I could put an object up on the left side, I could put it on the right side up, I could have things panning forward and backwards, I could have the floor rumbling, um, I could have uh, the depth of field of a professionally done photograph or a beautiful painting, that, that artistic uh, look of um, depth is so important and that's what we get with this type of mixing in immersive. And now the system of Dolby Atmos is what we're using here, but there's other uh, systems that are available too, the RO3D and the Sony 360. But for us here, the great thing in using the Genelec speakers is that I can uh, adjust the Genelec for the particular space I'm in, no matter if I'm using stereo or immersive, the GLM, which is the Genelec loudspeaker management software, will adjust the speakers to the space. So I always, no matter if I'm here or in the UK or in Finland, as long as I have these Genelecs and they have the uh, GLM capability, then wherever I'm at, I know exactly what I'm hearing. And anyone who's serious about mixing, the monitors that you use should be the number one consideration because you have to know what you're hearing, otherwise you're just flying blind. So let me show you more about this GLM system. I've got it here on this computer and let's take a look at it. All right, so let's take a look at the GLM. First of all, here's the screen, the window that shows you the hive. And the hive is where you place your speakers. And this is my previous uh, layout that I've been using for my mixes this week. But the room has changed, so we're going to redo the GLM today. So the speakers I'm setting up are the 8351Bs and the woofer stands, which are the W371As. And you can see on my GLM choices that because everything is hooked up through this GLM brain, the system sees exactly what speakers are in the system. And that's how it talks to the speakers is through this. 
Now we're going to calibrate the speakers by using this special microphone. And what I'll do is, first of all, I'm going to set up the layout. And now I choose the speakers as they appear here. It sees the speakers. And as I press a picture of a speaker, it is making a sound so I can identify it. So I'm pressing the woofer stand on the right side and I can hear it making a sound on the right side. Listen to that. Okay. Now that I've identified it, I will place it into the hive where it belongs, which is in the right side. All right. Next, it appears uh, an 8351B speaker. I'm going to press it and it'll identify where it is by making a sound. Ah, I hear it. It's on the left side, on the top. And you can also see as it's working that the light is blinking on the speaker as I press down. So I want to identify which speaker that is so I know where to place it in the hive. And here I go. I'm going to place it right here on the left top. Now I have another 8351. That one I'm pressing and the sound is on the right side and the light is blinking on that speaker too. So I know which speaker that is. And I'm going to move that into position. And we have one more woofer stand. I'm going to press it so we know where it is. And I hear the sound down here on the left bottom and I see the, the blinking light. I'm going to move that into bottom left position. All right, here we have our speaker layout. I'm going to confirm that layout here by just pressing confirm layout. Now it's giving us a group. And if I confirm that group, this is the group we'll be working on today. In order to do the calibration, now I have to set up this microphone because it's going to do a, a tone sweep in each of these speakers. And as the tones go through all the frequencies, then it will be recorded on this microphone, this special microphone. And the microphone will be able to tell us what's going on with this room, the reflections, and where we need some adjustment. Now I have a mic stand here, and this mic stand, I'm setting up basically where I sit and the level of my ears. This is my listening position. Now I place the mic here. And now I'm going to push the chair out of the way and get out of the way because I don't want to interfere with the reading. So let me push my stuff out of the way and then we'll get the calibration going. Okay, we finished the calibration on the 8351Bs, and now it's time to calibrate the woofer stands, the W371As. And to do that, we use the GLM on the woofer calibration. The first thing we need to do is to match our pairs. So the woofer stand one needs to be matched with the 8351B1. So I just click those together. And now woofer stand two also needs to be matched with two. And we've done that and it's identified itself with uh, the blinking lights. And so we're all set up. One is with one, two is with two. And now I'm going to start the calibration. But before I do that, I'm going to move the microphone back into my listening position. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to start calibration. That's the third one. All right. Okay, I can move the mic out of the way. And now we're waiting for it to optimize. And it will take a few minutes because it has to go through several speakers. Each woofer stand has two speakers, one in the front and one in the back. 
Plus, we're going to go through the 8351Vs again also. So it takes a little time, but you can see how wonderful this is. Now, these speakers will be exactly matched for this space. And this space has a lot of reflective energy in it. So having the ability to fine tune the speakers to the space is so important in knowing what you're listening to. So we'll just wait for this to happen and then I'll confirm calibration and we'll be ready to start mixing. All right, and here we go. I've confirmed the calibration and we can start listening now. And I have a session that I'll open up so that we can start listening right away. Let's see. Oh yeah, here's a good one. Are you ready? So my daily drivers are the 8351B speakers, and those are the ones I use every day. I can depend on them because I know that they've adjusted for the room and they will grow as the studio grows. And so as we build it into an immersive room, we'll add new speakers and adjust with DLM as it's built. Well, thanks for coming today to the Microphone Museum and looking around. I look forward to showing you more about immersive mixing in the future using Genlife.